me, Mackenzie Marie, and welcome back to my channel. It's been exactly a year since I dyed my hair with markers, so I thought today, one year later, I would dye my hair with markers again. If you didn't know, it's actually possible to dye your hair with markers like this. I have four containers of markers. I've only used the original colors in the past. Today I got a different brand of markers. These are the Crate Cross Art. Crazy art? What the heck? Bold and Bright's markers. Now the colors on these are so vibrant. These are so beautiful. Like I'm obsessed with the colors. Look at that blue. Look at that blue. When I saw these markers at the store, I was like, I have to dye my hair with those. I'm gonna be using a mix of the Crayola markers and the Crazy Art markers. Whatever the heck these are. And I'm gonna be doing an ombre with the colors. So without further ado, let's get started and let's dye my hair with some markers. The roots of my hair are these really grown out natural color of my hair, which is basically like a dark brown black color. I'm trying to grow my hair out. I don't want to bleach my hair. That's why I'm going to be doing an ombre. Yes, markers. We're only using markers. So let's turn some markers into hair dye. For the top section of my hair, I'm going to be using a mixture of these two markers. I'm going to apply this color to the top of my hair, and I'm going to be applying these to the bottom part of my hair. These are all the markers that I'm going to be using today. This is eight markers. Now, I don't recommend dyeing your hair with markers because it's actually quite damaging unless you want to like completely damage your hair and like really mess it up and dry it out and like make it brittle and break off. I don't recommend it. You're probably wondering why I'm flinging a giant knife around and that's because well, I have to bust the back of these little uh, I gotta bust the back of all these markers off. So the way that I do that is chopping it off with a giant kitchen knife. I tap it until the thing completely flies off the back of it. Inside of there, that is an ink cartridge. That's what I'm gonna be using to dye my hair with. Extract the ink. There she is. I'm gonna get a little bowl like this, I'm gonna fill it up with water. Splash. I place the cartridge in the water until the bottom part starts turning white, like so. Grab a bowl that I'm going to be putting my hair dye in and blow. I always get ink on my face whenever I'm doing this. That's one cartridge of ink. Two. Three. And that is all four of the cartridges. This is our first color, and now let's make the second color. Now for the teal. This is going to be the lighter shade. I'm gonna grab some white conditioner like this, and this is what's really gonna turn it into a hair dye. That should be good. It's going to be very, very dark. But because it's markers, it doesn't stay that dark when I wash it out. Like, it's definitely going to be a much lighter color. Here's what the first color looks like. Really pretty if you ask me. For the second one, one is very royal blue and one has more of like this green tint to it. I have a juicy story to tell you today. But first, let's try out the dye. Ooh. Last time I ombre my hair, I felt like I did it way too neat. So this time I'm gonna be very messy with putting the colors in. I feel like sometimes the messier, the better it looks. I don't know why that happens. Why does that happen? Let's try out the other color. Oh God, I feel like I made both of them really similar colors. Does it even look like they're different colors? I have a story to tell you today. I have been debating with myself to tell this story on the internet for some time now. I wanted to make a video about it addressing the situation in like hopes that I could like help other people realize that this is like a real thing that goes on in the world. But then I was like, I don't really wanna make that video. I don't really make story time videos anymore. Here, this is a story that I have to tell. Like this is a story that I need to tell. A while back, I went to Cabo. And before I went on my trip, I last minute went shopping to go get some clothes for my trip. I stopped by a Forever 21 because I was looking for new swimsuit bottoms that actually fit my butt because I had been on this whole fitness journey, grew a giant nice caboose on me. I was ready to get some new swimsuits. I just wanna preface this by saying, I know I'm gonna tell this story as a big joke because I've grown from it and I've learned from this 
this story, but I do want to mention that this is a serious thing that happens. And if this has happened to you, make sure you do tell the authorities. If you're in this situation, you can get it handled properly like I did. I picked out some swimsuit bottoms that I wanted, which matter of fact, they were these swimsuit bottoms right here. I had a red pair to try on, a black pair, and a white pair. So I go to the dressing room to just try on these swimsuit bottoms, make sure they fit my derriere properly because while well, she thick, she big. I get inside the dressing room and I start taking my pants off so I can try on my swimsuit bottoms. When I bend over next to me on the ground, there's a man, his pants are on the ground. He has his phone in his pocket with the camera side up. I'm already getting mad just thinking about this happening to me. I didn't really think anything of it at first because I was just like in the dressing room. Why would I think anything of it? But in the back of my head, I was like, that's kind of weird that that person's pants is like so far over under my dressing room with the camera up. I noticed that the guy was like not moving. Like he was just like standing still. It seemed like he was just waiting for something. Now I have my pants off. I am trying on swimsuit wear. Oh my God, my blood is literally boiling right now. I try on my first pair of swimsuit bottoms. I'm like fine. I put them on, do a little twirl in the mirror. I'm looking cute. Everything's feeling good. It wasn't until I put my last pair of swimsuit bottoms on. I was weirded out that like the guy was not moving next to me at all. He just had his phone still laying there on the ground recording God. Well, I mean, let's be honest. We know what he was filming. I don't know what it was, but my intuition was like, this guy is videotaping me. This guy has to be videotaping me. Like, this is just weird. I don't feel right right now. I pick up my normal pants off the ground to put back on my regular pants, and I hear this guy. He starts, like, moving around in the stall. I was like, I'm gonna confront this guy because if he was videotaping me, I'm not. I am not. It. So I hurry up, I put my clothes on so fast, I just get out of the dressing room just in time. Like this guy was walking so fast. I run up to him, I tap him on the shoulder, and I was like, excuse me, were you videotaping me? This guy was acting like as if he didn't speak English at all. He was like, no, no, what, no. And I was like, so let me see your phone then. Like, let me see your phone. If you weren't videotaping me, then let me see your phone. When I tell you, this guy knew that he got caught, he knew that he got caught. The clothes that he was holding that he wore into the dressing room, he threw them on the ground and he bolted out of that Forever 21. This guy was running like he was in a 100 meter dash and he needed that first place prize. When that happened, I knew that that guy was recording me the entire time I was changing in that dressing room. My first initial thought was, I wanna get this guy arrested, like that's not okay. I immediately run over to the cashier, I tell the guy, I'm like, there's some guy in your dressing room who was just recording me naked. The dude in the front is like panicking, he's like, oh my god, wait, let me get my manager. He stops doing everything he's doing, he's like on his walkie talkie, like trying to get his manager up to the front desk. I just wanted to buy some freaking swimsuit bottoms so my booty cheeks could look good on my vacation. And this is what I have to deal with? I think I just found like a secret to ombre in your hair. Look at this. Run some dye at the top of your hair and then just start pulling the dye through it. So after waiting like 10 minutes, the entire mall security comes down to the Forever 21 and they like take my story. I had to like explain what this guy looked like. And then I had to do the same exact thing with the police. The sad thing about this situation is I never found out if they caught the guy or not. So I'm assuming they didn't catch the guy. I think what makes this story even worse is the fact that Forever 21 is a store for teenage girls, like minors shop at Forever 21. By the way, I had to stand in line and still buy my swimsuit bottoms after that. That was horrible. Now, if you get stuck in a situation like that, I don't recommend doing what I did. But then again, I am a crazy bitch. I wish you could have seen the look on this guy's face though when he went bolting out of that Forever 21 like a scared little girl pissing her pants. As much as this sounds messed up, I am never going to look at dressing rooms the same way. I guess this is kind of like a PSA, like, 
If you are in a dressing room and you do see someone has their phone on the ground with the camera side up, whether that's the front camera or the back camera, just leave that dressing room, alert the closest authority, and let them take care of it. Every time I go into a dressing room now, I definitely bend over to make sure no one has their phone on the ground. And for the last piece of dye, I know it looks really dark, but it's definitely gonna wash out a bunch because it is markers. All right, you guys, I'm gonna let this sit on my hair until it gets absolutely crunchy and disgusting and it cannot dye my hair anymore. Then I'm gonna wash it out and show you the finished results. And here is how my hair turned out. I tried to go for an ombre, but I think I made the colors way too similar for it to actually work, but it's totally fine. The point is that once again, these markers were able to dye my hair. I will say though, this is more so of like a pastel kind of color. It's definitely not as dark as the markers were, but it definitely did put some pigment in my hair. Like if you look close to the roots, you can see that like, there's still like light bits in there, like it didn't completely saturate the hair. I don't know why when I try to dye my hair with markers, it sticks better to some parts of my hair than to other parts of my hair. Like I completely coated my hair. Yes, it is possible to temporarily dye your hair with markers, cause well, girl look, you can't tell me my hair does not look different from the beginning of this video. Here is the before and here is the after. Let me know in the comment section below how you think my hair turned out. Are you digging it? Do you like it? Should I keep it a dark blue color like this? I don't know. Let me know. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button if you want to see more videos like this. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Click the bell button. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first. And if you want to, you can follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or Twitch at Mackenzie Marie because when I'm not over here, I'm definitely over there and you should be too. I love you guys so freaking much and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles!